Hey guys, my name's Amanda and I work with the Green Heart Project. We're a community partner in Charleston that builds school garden projects and urban farms to educate students, connect people, and cultivate community through growing, eating, and celebrating food. I'm hoping some of you may have heard of us as we just started partnering with your three schools, Charleston Catholic School, Jane Simmons Montessori School, and Charleston Charter School for Math and Science this past year on our urban farm at Enston Home Project. The urban farm is a half acre, 62 raised bed farm that's located at the corner of King and Yuji Street. And we're hoping in future years that this acts as your school garden. I'm here to talk to you about a student artwork contest we are holding from now through March 19th. And that is to design the artwork for our harvest dinner poster. So what is the harvest dinner? It's our yearly celebration that brings together all of our Greenheart students, families, schools, volunteers, and supporters to celebrate another year of growing food, minds, and community. Um, in past years, it's hosted over 1,000 people. Local chefs always cook up delicious food using produce we grow in our gardens. There's usually music and activities for the whole family as well. So the prompt here is that each year we feature a piece of artwork at the center of our poster. And this is shared widely on our website, social media channels, in the local newspapers, and directly to our supporters. So this is a great opportunity for an artist to really get their artwork out there in, in front of our community. And this year we're looking to identify a student artist. This is the first year we've done this. We're really excited about it. And we will feature that, art, that student's artwork at the center of our poster. So... Um, guidelines. The artwork must prominently feature the urban farm at Enston Home. Um, so in this prompt that I'm sending you, there are pictures of the farm, but we highly recommend if you haven't been yet that you go over and check it out. Um, we're happy to meet you over there. You can contact me, Amanda at greenheartsc.org to meet you there, um, or you can check it out on your own. Um, students may choose their own medium. So it could be an illustration, it could be watercolor, like this poster um, or acrylic paint. It could be a photo. It could also be graphic design like this one. Um, but the poster's artwork generally includes some images of fruit and vegetables, um, flowers, things you grow in our gardens, gardens and farms. You can see this one is an image of our um, school garden at Mitchell Elementary School. It's an in-ground farm. Um, Food, healthy food, music, community, you know, students and families, green hearts, the words we grow food, minds, and community are really important to us. Also the word respect. We have three rules of respect, respect yourself, respect your buddies, and respect the earth. So any combination of that um, would be a great option for poster artwork. Um, so if you have questions, uh, if you want to submit your artwork to me for uh, preliminary feedback, go ahead and email me, amanda at greenheartsc.org. Um, and again, this is kind of what we are looking for, is a piece of artwork here. It doesn't need to include the words on the poster, just the piece of artwork that we can feature at the center of the poster. Um, so I hope you're feeling excited. We will um, select the best uh, artwork that we receive and let you know if you have been selected. And again, it's a really great opportunity for any student who um, is artistically talented and looking to get the word out about their artwork. So again, deadline is March 19th, um, Friday, March 19th by end of day, by midnight. Uh, but feel free to contact me if you want to come visit the farm in person or if you'd like feedback on the concept before then. Um, so looking forward to reviewing. Thanks guys.